On guard, senor. Fight, weakling. Fight, coward. Fight. <laughs> that for robbing a poor man of his bread. Look, senor. On the forehead. The mark of sorrow. <laughs> Adventures of Zorro, the mysterious black mask rider who slashes his mark on all that is evil, the letter Z, for Zorro, champion of the poor and the oppressed. Stormy night in Reina de Los Angeles, and none except those with urgent business dare leave their haciendas. Only Captain Ramon's soldiers are about in unusually great numbers, for it is rumored that Zorro rides again. Zorro, who is in reality the wealthy, lazy Don Diego Vega, but whose true identity is known only to the priest, Padre Felipe. In the tavern on the plaza, all is serene and quiet until... Landlord, some wine. See, si, Sergeant Gonzalez. See, si. it is a night to give a man a thirst. An evil night, Sergeant. They are saying in the pueblo that this Senor Zorro is abroad again. Zorro, huh? Mister Fox, a cutthroat, a thief. They say he does much good for the people. Good, bah. Because he wears a mask and flashes a pretty blade, he gets a reputation for bravery. He uses that blade, they tell me, to carve the letter Z on the forehead of his foe. The mark of Zorro, they are calling it. I would not know about that. Senor Zorro knows better than to show himself before a superior swordsman like myself. I hear there is a reward. You snatch the very words from my lips. The governor has offered a handsome reward for the fellow's capture. And once I meet him... Watch out, senor. Did I startle you, senora? If you did, Don Diego, it was because you entered on the heels of the storm. Your own energy would hardly startle any man. <laughs> yes, it's true that I do not have much of a reputation for riding and fighting. My taste runs more to words of wisdom or music or poetry. Mm, meal, motion, goat's milk. Perhaps. Uh, get me a pot of honey, landlord. Si, senor. I was just saying, uh, Caballero that I was hoping to meet the notorious Senor Zorro soon, so that I may claim the reward offered by the governor. Well, no doubt this fellow is sincere in his purpose. He robs none except officials who have stolen from the poor. Let him have his day, Sergeant. I would rather have the reward. Earn it, then. Capture him. Excuse your pot of honey, Senor. Thank you, Landlord. Well, good night to you. Music and poetry, huh? Uh, but I suppose he has the right if he enjoys it. If I had his riches, I would not need the reward I would get for the capture of Zorro. Just what will you do with the reward, Sergeant Gonzalez? Well, first I will... But what? Senor what? Zorro at your service. By the sense, Senor Zorro. Uh, you have come to surrender. I am on business, Senor. Four days ago, you brutally beat a native. I have come to avenge him. On guard, Sergeant. But what? Right, Senor. All right, you cutthroat. Thief! Stand back while I draw my blade. Oh, oh then. <laughs> Open it! Sergeant! Sergeant Gonzalez! Someone come! Uh, we have Senor Zorro here! So, you shout for help, Senor! <laughs> All right! I will go now, but I leave you with this! Till we meet again, Sergeant! Sergeant, are you hurt? You, you're for it! Bendito Dios! The mark of Zorro! <laughs> Senorita. Senorita Lolita. Senor Zorro, you shouldn't have come here. Oh, Senorita, I am too weak to resist even one moment in your presence. My heart is filled with love. Senor Zorro, and I love you. Oh, is that cause for such sadness? It is not because of my love that I am sad. It is because Don Diego is coming for his answer tonight. 
And have you decided to become his bride, senorita? I must. The governor's men have taken away almost everything from my father's house. And we are poor. And the marriage with the wealthy Don Diego would restore my father's fortune. I wish I were an honest man and could claim you openly. But it is not as if you were an ordinary thief. You steal, yes, but only to give to the poor. But my task is not yet done, senorita. I feel called upon to finish it. Then finish it. And may the saints guard you. I will always love you. But you've never seen me without my mask. I may be ugly. I love you. Disfigured, senorita. I love you. But your chance to be a great lady, your father and his fortunes, Don Diego. I do not know what to do, senor. But God is good. He will help me. What is that? Probably Capitan Ramon and the soldiers. Sergeant Gonzalez no doubt gave them my trail. Then you must go at once. But I shall return. Steady block. Until later. Buenas noches, senorita. There he goes. After him, men. So, the beautiful senorita and the common highwayman. But why do you do not answer, my pretty senorita? Perhaps you do not know that the punishment for helping a highwayman to escape his imprisonment, eh? Of course. One might overlook if you would consent to marry me. Marry you? I would rather die. Pretty words from the daughter of a man who is almost ruined. My father, Don Carlos, will not be ruined. For I am about to accept the hand of Don Diego Vega. I see. You will not marry an honorable soldier, but you would sell yourself for your father's fortune. Senor! Perhaps, before you and I are through, senorita, you will be glad to accept my hand in marriage. Buenas noches, senorita. Lolita! Lolita, mia! Ah, there you are. I see Don Diego's horse approaching. Are you ready, my child? Yes, father. Welcome, Don Diego, to my poor hacienda. Oh, thank you, Don Carlos. <clears throat> oh, dear. Long distance. But it wearies me to ride a horse. Good evening, Don Diego. Good evening, Senorita Lolita. I uh, trust you made up your mind. I have, Don Diego. I shall be honored to be your wife. Well, that's settled then. It will be rather a bore, I expect, the ceremony and the wedding feast and all that sort of thing. Senor. However, I shall tell my father and he can make the arrangements. They can send word in to me when... Why? Why? Where has she gone? Have I displeased her in any way? You must excuse Lolita, senor. She would rather be wooed, I take it, in the conventional fashion. Perhaps a guitar beneath her window. A guitar? (laughs) I like only to listen. I know nothing of such things. It might be an excellent idea to regard the senorita as if you adored her. Do not speak of marriage, only of love. I fear that's beyond me. And yet I must try, of course. I may go in and see the senorita now. No, but wait a moment. Who comes here? Is this the house of Don Carlos Perudo and his daughter? I am Don Carlos. I have orders to place you and your daughter under military arrest. Arrest? But who gave such orders? His honor, Captain Raymond. Uh, What is the charge? Treason and aiding the state's enemies. Preposterous. I have my orders. Nonsense, my man. Just tell the Capitan that Don Diego countermands his orders. I cannot do that, senor. Oh. Then I suppose I shall have to fight you. By the saints, what a nuisance. That will not be necessary, senor. You might soil the frills on your cuffs. I am ready to go. Are you coming, father? You are very generous to open your house to us, Don Alejandro. Sons of my friends are always welcome to my house, senor. But where is your son, Don Diego, tonight? Uh, He is fatigued and has retired for the night. Fatigued? At this early hour? (laughs) Oh, but a a thousand pardons, senor. I should not have laughed. It is quite all right, Pedro. I myself wish he had more life in him, more spirit. It often saddens my old heart to be father of a mere dreamer of dreams. Uh, But don't let me keep you. Uh, Go on with your merrymaking. Senores. By the saints, it is Zorro. Capture him. There is a large reward on his head. Wait, senores. I have something to say to you. At least hear me out. Uh, One moment, caballeros. Let us hear what senor Zorro has to say. Thank you, senor. I come to urge you to live up to your noble names. 
Band yourselves together and drive the thieving politicians from your land, senores. You seek adventure, do you not? Here is adventure of plenty, fighting oppression. Even this night, even this night, a great injustice has been done. You may have heard what has happened to Don Carlos and his daughter, the Senorita Lolita. We know they are innocent of any treason, and yet they have been taken to prison and locked up with common thieves. And all on the whim of Capitan Ramon. By the saint, Don Carlos and the lovely Lolita in prison? Even while you sit here drinking wine and making merry, I urge you, senores, make your stand. What do you say to this, Don Alejandro? I am in sympathy with Senor Zorro, caballeros. Would you lead us, Senor Zorro? Si, senores. Si, but Senor Zorro. Senor Zorro, you have my full support. What shall we do, Senor Zorro? Let this remain a secret. In the morning, be ready to band yourselves together and ride. I shall send word when the time comes. Adios, senores. In just a moment, we'll look ahead to the next exciting episode in The Adventures of Zorro. The trap is baited, Gonzalez. <laughs> With the senorita Lolita as bait. Tomorrow you will see senor Zorro on that. Be sure to be with us next time as Captain Ramon waits to trap his quarry. Another thrill-packed adventure of... Zorro. The Adventures of Zorro was written for radio by Maria Little and directed by Robert M. Light. This program, transcribed in Hollywood, is a Mitchell Gertz Production.